kill this vein. My uh, thirty percent crit chance. My my uh, takedown crits are too real. Yo, come here, bitch. No! Please! Oh! God. Okay, takedown crits were not real enough. Okay, I have my shift now. Crits. Zero crits, nidly. Normally, you hear people say that when they're Trindamir, but I'm crit. I'm critically. I have to get crits. Critically. I buy IE and Ghostblade. I snap. Uh oh. Get him! Dude, I don't know how to play this this champion after the rework. This guy's too hard, man. He has ex he has ignite? No exhaust? Who runs exhaust on Yasuo? Alright Jarvin, good luck. It's all you, buddy. Who runs exhaust on Yasuo? What the heck? I didn't expect that. Oh my goodness. I can't land these spears at all. I'm so bad at landing these. I'm just gonna start aiming them without smart cast and see how it works. I need a blue buff. Oh, I already, I already have the red buff. Who did I take it from? I took it from their poppy, that's right. Killed poppy. Uh, why does my spear cost so much mana? Oh! No, 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 this is bad. Please. Yeah, fuck you, Blitzcrank. Get him! That was all planned, guys. Alright, I need to get uh, some more crit chance. Critically. Okay, Cloak of Agility. Dude, Packet Loss makes me so soft in the pants right now. Ugh, it's like spaghetti dick. Alright, I'm just gonna go farm bottom because they're surrendering soon. I need to pad my CS stats. My CS is pretty bad because I stopped going to lane and started running around like a cat, just stabbing stuff. If I actually built Bruiser, it'd be impossible. Kill me so far behind. But I'm building crit because I don't know. Just having fun. Wow, is that a crit? Such damage. Come on, Nidalee, you can do better than this. And he KS's it. I just did all the work. No respect. Alright. Let's go get this guy. Oh. Haunted War off. Oh, that killed him! No, I wanted the kill.
Don't end the game, guys. We're still playing. Well, somehow we're trading evenly with them, that's not good. Because I built like a complete troll, and if we start trading even... Um, I guess I could still be fine, but... Generally we wouldn't want... They have Baron? What?! See that? I think I crit him and my shiv crit him and I had the pounce thing. Oh God, dude. That's gross. Oh. Okay, we got his ulti. I'm happy with that. He was a little bit scared that I would uh, kitty stab him. Alright, I'm gonna go get my eye edge now. Freak approved builds. Hey, you know what? You know what they call. Hold on. You know what they call a Nidalee with a static shiv? A Thundercat! Oh my god, my, my, my puns are freak level. I think I think Freak better move over. I think I'm I think I'm gonna become the new pun master of LCS guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on guys. Hold up, hold up guys. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so bad. jump over this oh my god I can jump through the gates I can jump through the gates you wanna fight bitch see ya mate oh my damage dude that damage You know, you guys know what we need to build next? Um, crap, I don't even know what we're supposed to build next. Ah, there we go. The best. I like this emote. I'm gonna copy paste this and put this in my stream title. I'm gonna put it at the end. Oh, whoops. Didn't work. I gotta scroll up and find it. Yeah, I like this. I'm using this one. 
All right, I updated my stream title. Worth. Thundercats. Swoody coming for that booty. Dyrus son. Cats. Oh no. See a see a Dyrone Jr. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just popped Sword of the Divine and jumped in. Alright, we need to... Actually, the game's gonna end regardless. Darius should've killed them all. That's what Darius is doing right now.
really is. That is, uh, interesting. Alright, guys, get ready. Alright. Inviting. Oh my god, that was fast. Oh, sorry, guys. Damn. He didn't get in. Sorry to those of you guys that made it in the first time and can't get in. And now, due to my mistake, let me know tomorrow, and I'll make sure to invite you before everyone else, if you still want to play. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I, I screwed up. And if some of you guys, like, were in last game and you didn't get in this game because of my mess up, then just let me know, and I'll invite you tomorrow. All right. Start the game. I know, Fubar Z, I'll remember you. I'll remember. Just remind me tomorrow. Oh my lordy. Does he want me to give up Lucian? Do it. Alright. I'm gonna play AP Tris, though. We're not, we're not going sissy mode. Huh. Am I missing something here? That well, looks about right. Huh. It's, it's a ram. We just do whatever. Oh, we need to ignite for this. Okay. Wait, what? No, no, no. Other, other way. Oh my god, I almost screwed up. All right, guys. So I'm gonna turn. Uh, just remember to do your promos if you don't get packet loss. So far, I haven't been successful. Mm, last time you had a sub a ram versus me, you were Aurelia. Now you have her again. <laughs> Wait, 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 you already played before. Oh, man. I should have let the other guy in. You should have you should have told me that you'd already played before. Oh, well. That's okay, I guess. I'll just have him remind me tomorrow. I'm going to turn subscribers off now. All right, guys. Can I please explain to you what coward control is? I think you mean crowd control. It's basically just... Crowd control is just a way to deal with large numbers of things, and people generalize it in the form of um, disables. So, for example, silence, stuns, knock, knockups, but any anything that takes something out of the fight is crowd control. So, let's say you have like five guys, and you take three of them out of the fight with disables. That's considered like crowd control because you're you're reducing the size of the crowd that you have to deal with. So that, that's that's what crowd control generally means. It's just disables or you know things that help you deal manage larger numbers of players. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to. So like you can stack like disables on one person, and that's and people still call it crowd control or CC. Um, but it, there's only one person, right? But that's generally the, where the term came from, and. Generally, what it means now is just disables. So, like, any any kind of disable in the game that disables the uh, ability for the other player to use their character. So, like, stuns, fears, uh, silences, anything. What does snowball mean? It's just when you use an advantage to get a bigger advantage, and then you use that advantage to get an even bigger advantage. And the analogy is it's like a snowball rolling down a mountain and collecting snow and then it becomes like a giant like boulder at the bottom a snow boulder kind of like in those like cartoons where you have this little fleck of snow that's at the top of a mountain and it just like turns into a giant snowball when it rolls down and then like all the characters have to like run away from it that's that's what it means that's what people mean when they uh, say snowballing Best CC is death. Death is a form of crowd control, but people generally don't. People generally don't uh, refer to death as crowd control. Wow, 
while. This motherfucker sitting in my chat just trolling all day. I guess I might as well say one, two. Oh man. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going in. You wanna see some uh, challenger level, what? Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna actually just jump into all five people and die, but not anymore. He kinda he kinda hit me first, so it wouldn't be as epic as me just starting off a fight with suicidal Sudoku jumps. Sorry you dropped your bag of Doritos brand chips. But how can you have brand chips if brand is never picked? Brand is a terrible champion. Why would you buy chips from him? Do I type two if you did her twice? Sure. What does scrims mean? It's uh, it's when you get a girl to lay on her side, and then you. No, I'm just kidding. That I could I could go so many ways with that, and that would just be disgusting. I'm not gonna say anything like that. But yeah, you guys know what scrims mean. And everyone's like, what? Please finish. And I'm like, I already did. And then I, I make one of those little reddit faces. I already finished. Alright. How do you turn on that little CC indicator? Um, I think it's right here. Screen flash on a... Loss of control UI right here. Just click on this. So when you get CC'd, it, it flashes like a... It flashes like a certain white or something, but I don't. No, people turn it on, but I don't really pay attention to it. I mostly pay attention to my character. But it's nice if, like, you know, you get stunned and you're focused on something else, and it's just like, oh. Brand is a terrible champion. He's hella fun used as support. Yeah, I agree. He is fun used as support. It doesn't make him a good champion, though. Fun, fun does not equal good in this game, unfortunately. Generally, things that are fun are either OP or they're not good. For example, Yasuo, LeBlanc, Akali, OPs. And then you have things that aren't that good, like Heimerdinger. Blink to confirm Dyrus in jail. I think I confirmed him in jail like 2,000 times already today. No, the one under your HP bar? Well, I think that's the same thing. Let me take some crowd control and figure it out. Someone crowd control me. Right there. I don't even look at that, honestly. Like, I really don't. And for some reason, it didn't work with Ash's W. Maybe she didn't turn on her frost shot. No, if she has frost shot learned, it should just use it anyways. Um, I, I think it's the uh, thing I just showed you. Loss of control UI. Why did the blonde girl's belly button hurt? Because the boyfriend was blonde too? Oh my god. That's gross. Picked that out of what I said, but not the 90% win rate thing? Okay. Okay, well, I could go and make a smurf and have a 90% win rate on any champion climbing up, but I don't. I just play random shit for fun. I could have a 90% win rate on... I don't know, Talon, if I wanted to. If I just play Talon every game climbing up. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. I should just fucking do this, man. What am I, oh, that's, okay, that's, I guess that would be a reason not to do it. Come on, come on, give me the reset. No! Ugh. Who runs exhaust in ARAM? Scumbag Swain. I was like so ready to get a pentakill there. And I just got cock blocked super hard. My butt is hurt now. I'm very uh, salty, not really, but. I did jump into them and I got exhausted. I couldn't do anything. What is a Virginia? 
That would be a state. I mean, the United States of motherfucking America. Okay, I got a double kill. It's all worth it. Get him, team. Go for the Penta. The Ace. The, uh... Damn, this guy does a lot of damage each auto. How do you turn on the little blue circle when Yasuo dashes? You have to delete your System32 folder. In the, okay, I'm just kidding. You, you, uh, it's always, it's always on. You're just trolling. So, guys, how do you turn on the, uh, the, uh, health bars that go down on your champion when you get, when you take damage? What skin do you think is the best for Shivana? Ice booty uh, Shivana? Frost tits Shivana? Best cleavage of all the dragons? I assume. Okay. Ugh. Does my family call you Wings? Of course, dude. That was my birth name. I used my birth name for my League of Legends name, just like Dyrus and Skara. Unfortunately, guys like Nat Nguyen had to. Yet Nguyen. You guys don't know who he is, so I have to say his. Anyways, uh, yeah, guys like him had to come up with their own names for League, but most of us just use our birth names, like uh, Wild Turtle and Double Lift. Do I have halitosis? No. Why would I have halitosis? What makes you think that? What is fapping? It's when you make the fap sound. How do you carry a game? You pick it up, put it on your back, and walk away with it. No, I'm shit! Worth! Oh my god. I'm actually shit and I just got a triple anyways. Oh my god. I can't believe I missed my jump. That was terrible. It was epic. It was le epic. Have I ever played Soggy Biscuit? Oh my god. I don't think anyone has actually ever played that. It's just some shit people put on, uh, people put on, uh, like, Urban Dictionary to gross everyone out. It doesn't actually exist. Oh my god. No! Aw, oh, man. Do I even rift? Yeah, I play Cassidy on a regular basis. Didn't I get Carpal Tunnel? No, I never got Carpal Tunnel. I don't have my hands in bad posture. I had muscle, like, I had a muscle injury in my hand. It wasn't Carpal Tunnel, though. You wish it was Carpal Tunnel, you jerk. Son of Barber? Y'all better recognize the Son of Barber. Do I smoke weed? I have never smoked weed, not even once. And that's actually a fact. That is the truth. Meth, not even once, man. Not even once. How much do I weigh? More than enough to get the job done. Thoughts on Trindomir mid? It's good against Cassidy. Oh my god. Ugh! Ults! No! 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 Packet loss. Bad files. Bad. It was I fapped too much syndrome? No, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It's because I, I just... I didn't use armrests and I played in, with bad posture and all sorts of stuff. I also went to ham. I, I would play like 16 hours a day. Not of not just the league, but just like of any game. I'd play like 16 hours a day of just games. And I just never took any breaks. It was just really bad. And then when my hands started hurting, I would like try to ignore it and play through it. And then it got really bad. So that was one of the main reasons. Just fap the pain away. Is that what you did when your girlfriend cheated on you? That was a rhetorical question, because we all know you're into dudes. You don't have a girlfriend.
bullet time right there. How do you get a girlfriend? You ask a girl if they would like to go out and get and eat dinner with you. And then if they had a good time, you do it again. And then eventually you just ask them, hey, you just ask them or they ask you. So uh, that's all it is. Just be like, hey, I think you're cute or pretty or beautiful or whatever adjective you want to use and I would like to get to know you better would you like to go and get something to eat sometime and if they say no then oh well if they say yes then you got yourself a date and you don't have to just walk up and randomly like do it too you can you can like make small talk you know if they're reading a book you can talk to them about the book if they're if you meet them somewhere you can just like find something to talk about and then after a while, you can just ask them if you really like them. If not, then whatever. And then if they say no, then you hang your head in dejected shame and just go home and chug a vat of like Ben and Jerry's or something. So, uh, yeah, you could be like, hey, you're really ugly and I like you. I like ugly girls. No, I'm just kidding. They might, they might uh, not like you after that. Have I played with Phantom Lord? Yes, I have played with Phantom Lord. I actually used to play on a team with him in Season 1. Called No Clue with Nintendude and V-Man. It's the greatest team of all time. You guys don't even know. This was back when like people didn't even stream, except for like Hotshot. He was like, the only person who streamed. Go home and jack off. Fix it for you. I mean, don't don't you already do that anyways? It doesn't really help you. Ugh! The Tristana. Oh. Nice. Please don't be gross, guys. You can troll, but just don't be gross. That that was gross. Why don't I ever what? That's disgusting, guys. Why don't I ever play with them anymore? What? We we are not on the same team. I haven't played on a team since season two. That was my season one team. And he didn't play every game. He only played a few games. Like the way that team worked is like. There were like 15 people on that team at any given time and we would just take like five people and just play so like If they weren't available or, or someone wasn't available, we just like take someone else just find subs The competitive scene in season one wasn't really Well established there weren't really too many rules about that sort of stuff So uh, you just like play with whoever you didn't have to have like a set roster Why did TSM kick you out? Because I was I was never on TSM. What the hell? What kind of question is that? It's like saying, why did you get fired from your job at the CIA? And before this guy actually is like a whistleblower from the CIA. And I'm actually like it's deep in some government conspiracy shit. On stream. Will you take your girlfriend to Cranker Z? Sure. Do I think Nintendo was bad when he was on coast? No, no, he wasn't. He was in a really big slump, but like honestly, he's been with that team for a really long time. And back, back in like season two he, and season three, he did some really good stuff. He would, some of his plays would just like straight out carry games, right? But then he would, he kind of, he had a problem with slumping. So sometimes he'd do like he'd be like really really good, and then sometimes he would just kind of slump. And he was in a pretty big slump for a while, and then the community hatred kind of got to him because the community's a bunch of shitholes that like to make people feel bad so that they can stroke their own erections on message boards. And that's pretty much, uh, that pretty much spells the death of a lot of players when they start the downward Reddit spiral. It's already happened to, uh, Ed, Ed. The Ted dude, Ed, Zuda, and it was happening to Seraph and Glebe. 
but they've kind of shut up for now, so. This is a good thing, because we don't need to see that shit. It's none of your business. The worst thing I hate was like, people criticize players without even knowing the story. Like, you don't know what's going on in the comms. Like, if they if they did something bad, it could have very well have been the team told them to do it. But you don't you don't think like, oh, if I look bad, this isn't worth, so I'm not gonna do it. You just fucking do it because you have to trust your team, right? You can't just be like, oh no, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to look bad. Like, what kind of team player would you be if you if you refuse to do something because you thought you would look bad? Like, no one wants a person on like that on their team, right? If your team wants you to, like, engage and you think you're just going to die, but it'll start a fight that your team can win, and you're like, well, I don't want to just go in and die because I'll look bad, then they're just, like, who wants to play with someone like that? Like, what the hell? If someone wasn't, what, doesn't want to do something because they'll look bad? For example, when Doublelift, when CLG got him to stop split pushing and taking objectives, and his KDA suffered and his CS suffered, but his team started winning more, you, you didn't see him go like, well, I, I, you know, I don't want to group up earlier and not farm as much because then I don't carry as hard and I don't look as good. Like, who, who the hell does that? Like, it's a team game. You don't, you do what's best for the team. You don't do what's best for yourself. Like, that's, that's like the most selfish thing. So, of course, like people are willing to take the hit if it means that their team might win. Now, sometimes. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. But you don't know what's going on in the background. Unless they specifically say, like, you have no idea what's going on. Yet people are like, oh, this guy went in at a bad time. He's terrible. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, maybe, you know you know what the funny thing is? Is generally, when someone's new on a team, they let everyone else make decisions for them. So for all you know, it could have been the team's decision for someone to do something. Now, I'm not saying it is, but... The thing is, is people don't know that, but they, they criticize like they do know what they're talking about, which is like the worst thing. And then the, wor the even worst thing is people believe them. They're like, this guy must know what he's talking about, because he has 50 upvotes. Here's another upvote. And then it just gets upvoted to the top. So please cut some players, cut players some slack. For God's sake. That is all. Oh no, I just got Bob Rooney. Uh, I think he was a sub for Dig a long time ago. I mean, officially yes, but it was only for one event. It was only for like one, one like tournament bracket series thing. It was like some series, and then but shortly after that, I I joined Epic Gamer, which turned into TSM Evo. But it was it was Epic Gamer, the same one that Dan Din and uh, Wes Rice and Dyrus used to be on back in like season one. Playing AP just is so fun. Talon just makes me sad. Help me feed, please. Okay, what you do is you walk mid and then unplug your keyboard and mouse and go outside and play uh, hide and seek with your pet chihuahua. Come back in 30 minutes. The gorilla's brother. You are fucking rude, sir. I will have one of my mods escort you out of my chat. This rant is probably going to be on the front of Reddit. No, it's not. I guarantee you it's not. And, uh, anyone who's a fan of my stream should know that they shouldn't be doing that anyways. I don't like it when my stuff is on Reddit. I just don't like Reddit. People... I don't like those people on Reddit. Oh. Darn. Who's my favorite person to play League with? I do not know, because I don't really have a favorite person. Any, any, Honestly, anyone who's fun to play with, that I think is fun to play with, is like the same for me. I really liked duo queuing with uh, Aphromu, but we don't duo queue anymore. I don't use, I'm not saying if you use Reddit, I hate you. What I'm saying is all those people who like circle jerk around all the negative stuff, I don't, I don't like those people. They're, they're everywhere. Every day there's at least one thread that's 
uh, negative circle jerking. Whether it's like about a player, a streamer, I don't know, anything. Let's get in range. Nothing could survive that fall. Oh my god, I do no damage. I got exhausted. God dang exhaust. Do you have bad farts when you eat fiber one bars? I don't eat fiber one bars, but I can tell you right now, fiber makes your farts smell terrible. That's just how fiber, like that's just what happens. If you eat a lot of fiber, you're gonna smell bad. So don't eat too much fiber, but eat enough. Just don't eat too much. That's, that's all I can say. Just, just a little bit of life advice right there. If you if you have a girlfriend, don't eat too much fiber, because you're you're just gonna like, it's just gonna be gross, man. Don't eat too much fiber and don't eat too much protein unless you need to like work out. But that stuff will make you smell terrible. Um, what ult is better, Chister Lee? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Chistana ult for defense and the Lee Sin ult for offense. Damn it. Damn it, man. Bjerg as a person, I don't know him as a person. I only know him as a league player. I think he's a good league player, but I have no idea how he is as a person. Who do you think is the best EU team? There's no such thing. I think all, I think the top like three EU teams could all take games off each other. You gotta do the spectate thing that Trick2G does. That stuff is so hilarious. I don't like, I don't know. I would rather do like a coaching thing instead. I, I'm not kind of like into that whole thing. Burger King is a person? No, it's a fast food restaurant. It's a, it's a franchise. All right guys, thanks for playing. I managed to insta-give a few people. I'm happy, that was fun. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow, uh, hopefully early, trying to trying to wake up earlier and earlier so that I can stream earlier. So um, if you guys enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit that follow button, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's try and work together to lower the salt content of the chat and the stream. So um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that follow button, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, stream channel, YouTube, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna play some ads and then turn off the stream. If you guys would like someone else to watch, I can link you guys to another stream real quick. Or I could just show you guys on this channel. Um, you guys can go and watch Yellow Pete's. Give Yellow Pete some love, man. Let's go give Yellow Pete some love, huh? And a zingy too. Go check out a zingy, the mad general that is the sworn enemy of the odd one. Go check him out. I don't know why this is. I honestly don't follow any stream, but it put link stream on my follow for some reason. Whatever. He hacked his way onto my follow list, but I don't follow streams. I just like go to the front page. But yeah, you check that out. And of course, there's my stream because Kappa. Where where have all the Doritos gone? <laughs> and then it shows all the Doritos. Hurrah! All right. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Wow, this guy is rude. Come on, guys. If you don't if you don't like something, you don't have to be an asshole about it. Come on. Keeper of the Dorito bag. Oh, I can't be the keeper of the Dorito bag if I spilled the Doritos everywhere. Sorry. Okay, see you guys later.
cigarettes a day, the strongest whiskey Kentucky can make. That's a recipe to put a vagabond on his hands and knees.